guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. In my fancy cup, I've got some coffee. One of you lovely sent this to me and it, the cat changes colors with the hot coffee. I love it. And it's double sided, which is fancy. Isn't that awesome? I really shouldn't be having coffee this late in the evening, but you know. Hi, sir. What can I do for you? Oh, you want to say hello? Oh, yes, you do. Can you say hi? This is Wellington, if you don't know. He's my old man. Alex, or Wellington's 13, 14. Alex is 6, 7, I think 7. We won't, we won't really ever know how old Alex is. Um, I rescued him on February 3rd of 2018, and they think he was about three at the time. So, we'll never really know. Guys, I'm going a little cuckoo kachoo with all the new Christmas stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I mean, I'm not really sorry, but I'm supposed to be sorry, right? So, we better get into it. I grabbed two of the Christmas trees in green. You know, I don't save these from year to year some, most times. I may have some down in the basement, but I don't think so. So I grabbed two to have to do some DIYs. I'm getting organized, guys. I have a box over here. I was sharing it with my man. What, do you want to sit here with me? You can sit here. It's okay. Okay, and then I picked up a sleeve of the red bulbs. I think I'm going to paint the glittered ones black and red and I'm doing a centerpiece on my dining room table now I don't I don't use these kind of bulbs on my Christmas tree I have so many ornaments that all mean something to my family and so I don't typically use regular bulbs but I loved this red color and say it with me my colors this year are red and black so I just grabbed a sleeve and this is a great value you get 12 ornaments here's my little tip if you're gonna use them open up the package most of these pop right off and just hot glue that little tip back on just as a little dollop of hot glue and, or some kind of glue and stick it back in there and let it dry if not you may have bulbs all over your house I, I'm pretty lucky my cats don't really mess with my Christmas tree hi hi he needed something. I don't really know why. My cats don't typically mess with my Christmas tree. And so I don't have that issue. Now, if I leave something dangling down below, they might. Okay. Okay. I guess this is how we're doing it. Next up, I just have a mishmash of stuff. Um, I did buy some of these uh, matches. If you can see that container right behind me, it's a Ray Dunn. It is actually from Christmas time, but I wanted some more matches for it. I just think it's fun. And then I bought a couple of these. The, um, okay, okay, okay. Can you just get down maybe? That's a good idea too. Yeah. He's my toddler today, apparently. I got some of these Scrubbing Bubbles drop-ins. I wanna see how they work. They are blue, which makes me nervous. So a little fun fact. Um, guys, I'm hot. I think I am, I'm reaching a season of life here, that things are happening. Or yesterday I had uh, my booster for COVID and I had my flu shot at the same time. So something's happening. Am I having a stroke? I'm having a reaction or I have a hot flash. I'm not sure, but I'm fine. So it's probably not a stroke, but I'm getting warm. Anyway, fun fact. I have four toilets in my house and it's just, it's not a super big condo, but there are two master bedrooms upstairs. There's a basement bathroom and a bathroom here, which is a half bath. And half the bathrooms I don't even get to. So I wanna, drop some of these into the toilets and see if it helps keep them clean because I'm tired of cleaning toilets that I don't even use. I know it's it's a very terrible problem, but it does annoy me nonetheless. Can I help you, sir? I, I really don't know what he wants other than possibly bed. Um, I think I showed you these in another haul and I grabbed a second one because I buy everything in twos, but 
they're fantastic and when the word gets out that these are so large this year they're gonna go off the shelf and I need to have I like to do my mantle even on either side especially now that I have my TV hung I like to have things even and then something in the middle it could be my it could be my own problem it's probably my own problem and then I picked up oh stocking stuffers so I grabbed this for a stocking stuffer. It is the Detoxifying Bubble Mask Reset Your Skin No Juice Cleanse Necessary Elf Brand Facial Mask. I actually got two because I wanted one, but these are great stocking stuffers, especially when the people that I shop for are older now, so they're not gonna be happy. I mean, they might, but with a bunch of candy and little junky stuff. So I'm trying to get more substantial items for Sarah, especially for her stocking. And so I thought this would be fantastic. And maybe for Julia, her mom, I can share with them. I have lots of masks. I'm, I've got bags everywhere, guys. This one's not a huge haul, but it needs to be done. Okay. Oh, what is a fun one? I hear the jingling. So we've all seen these a hundred times. Um, and I love them, but for winter, so after Christmas, I want to decorate my house in like a, a blue, silver and white kind of snowman winter theme. And so I'm taking these white bells and I'm going to spray paint them navy blue and I'll probably put them, put the green back on, but not the hanger and put them in a, somewhere with, um, some snowballs maybe, because I do have a pack of snowballs I know in my winter stuff, or my Christmas stuff. So I just grabbed three for now. I know they come in red, I know they come in glitter, but I thought the white would be easier to spray paint. So my plan is just to take the greenery off, spray paint it, and then maybe put the greenery back on, maybe put a different bow on there. I'm not really sure yet, but I knew that I saw on Pinterest the D's in navy blue and I said I need those I need them and I have navy blue spray paint <coughs> so I don't have to buy that <coughs> I had a carrot before I videoed and now I think I just sucked it down my lung great now I'm gonna have a carrot in my lung well that's not good okay back to uh, new item alert look at this lantern like what? Now, obviously this is for winter. They had Santa and I know they had another one, but I saw the blue and it's this LED wooden lantern. There is a tea light down there, but obviously, you know, if the battery runs out, you can replace your tea lights. But I thought this was fantastic. I might even put like a little glittery, just drops of some glitter snow. I don't know. I like a little sparkle sometimes. Um, I'm not as averted, I don't have much of an aversion to glitter as I do bows, apparently. I didn't know I had such a problem with bows, but watching my videos back, apparently I do. I don't really know why. I just am not feeling it right now. I don't hate bows, but I love the snowman. Oh, that might even end up on my front porch because it is like that MDF wood, and my front porch is covered, so it might get gross for the season like outside dirt but it's not going to get snowed on so that might end up if I could hang it that would be fun and then I can just light it up so I found that and then again for winter time I grabbed one of these just a little tea light holder I have some if you've seen my home tour above my chair that I'm looking at up there I have the three dollar tree shelves and this would be perfect I wouldn't even think I needed a tea light in it I just liked the snowflake. Now this is a glitter bomb. That'd be kind, you're gonna get glitter all over you. Yep, he sure did. Black cat and glitter. Um, I will spray this with clear, either hairspray or like sealer just to have it, but I love it. And they had this in all different, I think there was a Santa and a tree. And I don't think these are new this year, but they might be a little different this year. Cause I'm finding that a lot. Like certain things came out last year and A, my stores never got them, and I'm getting them this year, i.e. these reindeer. I never saw these last year. 
Now, I'm not saying Ohio didn't get them. I'm saying I never saw them. So when I found them, I said, oh, yes. These are just a little tea light holder. They're gonna get spray painted. Um, and I believe at least one of them, maybe two. I'm not sure how big. I'm making a DIY. It's an advent wreath, so the metal circular um, candle holder, and it holds pillars, and you light them for advent. I'm decorating one. I'll do a video on it, and I think I want to make these guys red. I couldn't decide, so I just got a neutral color, and I think in my store they only had them in silver and gold that I saw, but I think I'm going to spray paint them red and put at least one, maybe two. I can't remember how big my... Uh, advent uh, holder is for the candles but I thought this would be fantastic and I can light a little tea light if I want or not I mean I can put one in there and really not light it and you can put these will hold the um battery operated tea lights or regular I don't have children and my cats don't do they don't touch fire so I'm lucky there however sometimes I have to rescue can you move please sir thank you I do have to rescue them I mean I'm I say that I need to I'm not sure what is up with you today, my friend. He was wanting in bags. Again, he licks bags, but he doesn't get in them. I know, buddy. Um, but they don't they don't mess with candles, which is nice. All right, I only have a few things left. I did get a replacement of the Buffalo check. Now, I saw this in red and black. I typically do my kitchen in black and white, and the rest of the house I'll do in red and black. I haven't decided yet for Christmas, but I do want this for spring because I do my kitchen in Buffalo Jack, the black and white year round. I have a lot of black and white in there. So I need to keep this handy. That's not even gonna go upstairs. Right now I have a fall one. Alex found a toy. Right now I have a fall dish dryer. I love those things. I put it under my coffee maker and then I can slide it out from under the cabinet, put my hot water in it, slide it back in, and it catches any dribbles. Um, I found these fantastic paper stacks from the Dollar Tree and I am not gonna lie, I'm in love. I love it. I love the retro feel of the ornaments. I love the color. And what you get 12 of them. I know they're called treat sacks, but quite frankly, <laughs> I pack a lunch in these when I go to my part-time job. In the evenings, I need to bring something like a dinner or a snack. So I have a bag, um, some Halloween ones on my counter that I take. And when October's through, I didn't see any for Thanksgiving, so I'll probably just get brown. And then in December, I will bring these with me. And they're the perfect size for just a little lunch for me. But they are also treat bags or craft bags. You could totally craft with these because I love this. It's just paper, but I love, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I love the print on it. Oh, think coaster. Take one of those ceramic coasters or tile, Mod Podge this whole thing right on it. Put some Mod Podge over the top, some cork on the back, and you have a holiday coaster made with bags that would be so fun with anybody really kids or i say kids a lot because that's who i typically craft with but to be frank i get craft with my uncrafty friends and they will love all these little things that i'm showing you right like it doesn't have to be children anybody can enjoy crafts but the easier crafts are great for people who maybe don't feel like they're good crafters or aren't experienced crafters hi i grabbed one of these for a very specific reason. I'm making a DIY Grinch hand. And this is the closest thing I could come to the green I want. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe dry brush a little darker green over it because this is quite neon. And then we can do the finger and then stuff the other finger so they stick out like the Grinch, so, and I only needed one, so this was perfect. It has some texture to it, which I like. So I think I'm just going to dry brush a little of the darker green over the whole thing, let it dry, and this will be great for our DIY, the hand for my DIY. I have the rest of the supplies that are gonna be in the next video that I put up. I found this. Now this is definitely new this year, and I love it. It says the merriest season. I don't know if you can see it, but it's in red, and it just says the merriest season with snowflakes. I love it. This is so non-denominational holiday. It's just the happy season. 
I will tell you what I use these containers for because I must I love them I pre-bake a lot of my cookies now not ones with frosting but a lot of my regular cookies get pre-baked and then I put them in a container like this in my stand-up freezer I don't leave them in there very long and sometimes I do wrap them in plastic and then put them in here and then when I want to make a cookie tray or take cookies to somebody I can just pull this out take out the cookies that I need and put this container and its bags and its contents back in the freezer and I know where everything is and I can see what cookies because maybe I'll fit two batches in here of two different cookies I don't know I have several of these from seasons gone by so I just wanted to grab the one the other one I saw at my store had gingerbread men on it so if you're a gingerbread themed person that would be fantastic but I like the simplicity of this and they work great and I want them I run these through my dishwasher I only use them like once a year so why not so that needs to stay out here because that goes in the garage with my storage stuff in the last couple years I went crazy with the tins with the clear tops and I have a whole bunch in the garage because I put cookie trays in them and deliver them to people but I bought more than I can use so this year I am making cookie trays in those tins and I am passing them out because they're gonna leave my house mark my words we'll do a video I picked up three more of this size baskets now I believe this will hold eight and a half by 11 paper if you have a planner in your life this is great to put all your planner supplies in you can carry it from room to room like these are great for that I use them in my craft slash office to organize DIY projects that I have coming up especially this time of year so what I'll do is say oh I'm gonna make something with the Grinch so I throw the glove in there and then I'll throw all the other things in here and maybe the green paint and a paintbrush and whatever I need and then when I'm ready to sit down and do this craft I just pull the basket out and I know that I have everything I need minus like glue and scissors and stuff like that but any specialty product that I bought to do this um, would stay in the basket until I'm ready to either record or just do that craft. I don't record all the crafts that I do, but I could just do that craft. All right, a couple more Christmas things and then a fun little find. Ooh, ooh, I forgot. What color Christmas am I doing? Black and red, and look what I found. Two black bottle brush trees. What? They're in the Halloween and they're black and sparkly and they're going to look fabulous with my Christmas decor. They had them in this color, an orange, a purple and a green. I didn't grab the green because I know I have bottle brushes and I'm kind of hoping to find some in red. Um, I don't know what they're coming out this year. My Christmas stuff is very, the new stuff is very slow coming out. I have some new finds, but I'm seeing much more of the repeat stuff from the previous years. So I'm hoping, I mean, they're still putting out new Halloween stuff. So I'm fairly certain I will see some new trees. If I don't find them in red, I'm not saying I'm not going to buy white and spray paint them or grab some white upstairs and spray paint them because I think I have white trees. Part of my problem is I have... I didn't pull out all my Christmas stuff and I don't want to pull out all my Christmas stuff because it's packed away until I'm ready to decorate but I think I have bottle brush trees there we'll see but I definitely knew they wouldn't have black at Christmas time so I bought some all that to say I got some black bottle brush trees these are fun they're super fun to decorate with and they don't really take up a lot of room I found the little booties I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them but I think they would be super cute for gnomes. But they're just adorable is what they are. But you could definitely build a gnome upon these little shoes. You see the white coming off the fake fur. And I feel like it's plastic. It, yeah, it's just a plastic thing. You could also put these out with... Um, like put some candy in there or something and gift them. Obviously use them for an ornament. I don't know what I'm doing with them, but I wanted to show you that I found them. So I bought one of each. I will tell you just look closely at what you're buying because some of them were pretty sketchy. 
Um, I felt like up here I could see the plastic on some, but then I could just take white paint and kind of paint it if it's bothersome to me. But if I'm making a, a gnome, their beard will probably cover or their body will cover a lot of the feet. So I just grabbed it because I thought they were fun and I wanted to show you. And then I grabbed this Disney Villains. I'm obsessed. Do I need another bag? No, I sure don't. Do I want another bag? Yes, and I will enjoy it until I'm ready to get rid of it and then I will pass it off to somebody else. Just plain black sides. I just love that they're coming out with the villains this year. Also, if you were a Disney villain fan and you like a planner, happy planner, this year's Disney is the villains. So I feel like this is what Disney is promoting this year, the villains, so. And I also love that you have like um, the Little Mermaid, I don't know, Snow White, and Cinderella, is that Cinderella? I don't know. But you get all your princess and their villain. I just thought it was fun. And I know my friend will love it if I get bored with it. Okay, here is something I found that I'm pretty excited about. It is a miniature razor. I don't think this is a new find, but I've never seen it in my store, so we are gonna look at it together. Now, I know Venus, the razors, has a something I will assume is this, but it's like $8, and I said, no, I don't. I don't need to spend, oh, it's perfect, guys. It is adorable. It's a little miniature razor in its own little case. If you have a teenager, a college student on your Christmas list this year, I am telling you, look at that. And I feel like you could buy replacement heads for this. This does not come with them, but it has a nice wide handle. And I'm wondering if the Assured brand razor heads would come with it. I mean, you can get them if you're looking for something. I just feel like anybody that travels, even to the gym or wherever, this is a perfect item to throw in your makeup bag or in your toiletry case, and it doesn't take up a lot of space, and the razor is not gonna like slice you up when you reach in there. And it even has a uh, draining thing, so you can keep this in the shower, and then when you're packing up to leave, just snap the lid shut and it should be dry and you can just throw it in your suitcase. I thought this was so perfect and if I see more, I'm gonna grab some more for the for the girls that I need to buy for in my life. I'm just looking to see if I have everything, which I do. I need to start taking these bags into the Dollar Tree with me and stop getting plastic bags. However, anybody keeping track, I do use these plastic bags again for scooping kitty litter and I line my little trash cans with them. So they do get utilized, but still. Okay guys, that is everything I purchased on this haul. I have another haul that I'm gonna do here in a second because I need to get this stuff out of my living room. And sadly, that's where everything is sitting right now, is in my living room and I need it gone. So, I'll be back, same shirt, same coffee, same me, but we're gonna have some fun with another haul that I have so I can get these out to you so you can go find the stuff at your store. All right, I'll be back, bye.